Hello, and time for something different. So these are two of the same knives, but this one's been customized. The knife in question is the Spyderco Nirvana, one of my absolute favorites recently. The Spyderco Nirvana has been discontinued and reviewed to death, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, highlights, Peter Rizenti Design, Spyderco USA Collaboration, S90V Blade Steel, Taichung Taiwan Manufacturer. Uh, default grind is going to be a saber grind with a stone wash finish. This is the modified version of the same knife. Full flat grind, same blade, ground down, and the stock hourglass steel clip that Spyderco puts on their high-end knives has been changed to an Adam Purvis Timascus clip. So there's no real right answer for this. Then knives and any other tool is really up to the user's preference, and if it's to the user's taste, that's what makes it great. So comparing the clips side by side, so one of the knocks against Spyderco, especially with regards to like the Pisan and a few other high-end knives that they've released recently and they just keep putting the same steel clip on everything, there's a real simple fix for that. It does cost you, but you can go into the custom maker's market and uh, it's Instagram, Blade Form, there's a whole number of places. And if you don't like the clip, you can just get another one. So that's why I mentioned in a few of my previous videos, like on the subvert, if you don't like the clip, like Spyderco is keeping the price point of the knife down by including a steel clip. If you don't like it, you can always just upgrade yourself. The other thing is, uh, another thing that people may not consider, like clips are no brainer, but there are a lot of very talented people out there. Um, this knife was done by um, AZ Custom Knives. And it's not an endorsement really in any way, just saying that um, it can be done. If you're in USA, Canada, Europe, just look in your local area on Facebook groups and you'll see people modding knives. Just ask them who did that. And um, of course, it's not additive. You're always removing steel to change it. But there are options to take a knife that you like to something you absolutely love. Um, the same thing is uh, not only with the blade and the clip, but also for the show scale. Say you have like a Spyderco Techno, but you wish that you had a Kevlar Micarta with OD Green Backspacer. There are makers out there that do this kind of work. The pocket clip, the scales and backspacers, this kind of mod is you just buy and they send it to you in the mail. Typically when you get a blade, uh, blade done, you'll have to send the knife in, obviously, uh, to get it done. Uh, but that's it. So the whole point of this is uh, it's, it's time for something different and this is different. You can take the same knife and just have it modded to better suit your tastes. So if you haven't considered that, it's just food for thought. Have a good day.